made it to the racetrack got the trailer unhooked up there uh, in the grandstand so headed to go get my armband and go check out the mystery machine and see what we got left to do i'm kind of on the lake show as always i'm i'm so fortunate to just uh, be able to drive race cars and and not have to own them so uh here we go peregrine speedway night number two in the mystery machine
the Team S TV impacted people. So excited, uh, heat race next. So I think we got this mystery machine almost ready to go. So hopefully you guys can hear me. They're racing tonight. It's loud down here. We're right by the uh, pit chute because we just don't have two car uh, quads. We have one quad, so figure we get close so we can get this one shoved off. So. They are doing some track work right now and they actually have a makeup feature coming up. So I was gonna go head up to the apparel trailer and see how my girlfriend's doing. I'm on the one wheel trying to climb this hill. And I'm more scared about this than driving the race car people because if this thing shuts off, I'm gonna eat it. But I can see the apparel trailer up there and I'm making my way up there. How we doing? How we doing? Good. We're standing back here at uh, Thomas Mesrol's t-shirt trailer and T Mez himself is actually back here and he's got me on camera. That's never good. Never. <laughs> never good, never good. Still gotta work on that YouTube channel, but it's always awesome to watch you race and it seemed like the car was hooking up pretty good during hot laps. Yeah, we were really good. I don't actually know how we ended up uh, qualifying, but, uh, you know, excited to just be here, go go race, you know, with all the weather we've had. You know, I'm sure this place, they, they probably, uh, you know, anticipated the, the thing just being real wet. And so, you know, they're working their butts off to, to, to give us what we need, you know, with the with Hoosier, you know, they kind of got a tire shortage going on. So we can't be eating up a bunch of tires back there, but uh, hats off to the track and, and everybody here at the in the in the grandstands, you know, for, for hanging out and watching a beautiful sun set here in Paragon. Definitely. I see you got your uh, your one tire board down here. I seen that in one of your YouTube videos. I'm like, man, I would so break my neck trying to ride that thing. Yeah, the, the one wheel is, uh, it's like a Segway, you know, so it kind of self balances, but uh, as dangerous as they come, I'm pretty sure people kill themselves on these. So you'll see me going slow. Yeah, I'd, I would uh, I'd definitely hurt myself, man. Uh, so what you doing back here? Just signing a few autographs, meeting some of the fans? Yeah, I thought I'd come back to the trailer and check on my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, we got a little bit of time back there. We we got the changes made that we needed to the car. Uh, you know, we now that I just seen that they rewatered the entire track, I'm thinking that we might have to go rechange everything. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got a, we got a makeup feature coming up, du dual features tonight. So it yeah. should be a great show for everybody once they get uh, get this thing kicked back off. Definitely, man. She's, she's awesome. I'll tell you what she did for me later. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. She, you know. She's been around. That's actually John, uh, Johnny Heidenreich's daughter. So she's been to the races. You know, Johnny's won Silver Crown races. And, you know, he's kind of a living legend. So uh, it's always good to have her here. And, uh, you know, all the fans, like I said. So hats off to you guys for, for sticking it out and everybody here that, that helped put on this show. All right, man. Well, good luck tonight, race fans. If you want an autograph or to see Thomas Meserol, he's back here in his T-shirt trailer. Come and see him. Good luck, Team Mez. And hopefully we'll talk to you down there in Victor Lane, buddy. Hope so. All Thanks, right. buddy. No problem. That was kind of cool. It's always neat to come to the to local races and get interviewed, you know, by everybody.
changes that we wanted made. I think I think we changed every bar in the car except for the left rear. Uh, shocks, stagger, we got the right rear in. It might as well be a wing car, that's how far it is. It's a little slick. I don't even think I've pulled a tear off, but uh, almost go time. It's after midnight, I think it's about, I think it's 1230 and they're getting ready to have two B mains. So late night here at Paragon, but sometimes it's like that, you know, and uh, hopefully some, some people are in the stands still, but uh, we might be starting on the pole tonight. I'm not exactly sure. We'll find out in a bit. I'll see you out there.
that was. My teammate ended up winning. I was uh, a little word of confidence from my buddy Nick Foster. I was up there. He said, you know, you're just as fast as him up top. It's just sketchy, you know? And I said, yeah, it's just a real thin line. He goes, well, hey, that's what you do. So he gave me some confidence and I got up on the wheel. And, uh, you know, I felt like if I was gonna run the bottom, man, I just, I'm not a bottom feeder. I'm not very, I'm really good at pushing the limits and not stick it in the fence. I'm not good at going fast and hitting the bottom. So hats off to my teammate, Travis Bearhill. Um, and you know, my guys for, for letting me race this hot rod. I mean, uh, hats off to, to Tyler and Liz for, for bringing me out. You know, I'm, I'm not always the, the easiest on, a, on equipment, you know, and the, these guys, they don't have a whole lot of equipment. They do have two cars, but uh, you know, they, there was plenty of options other than Team Ez, elbows up guy, you know, to uh, to put in the car. So hats off to to Tyler and Liz for putting me in the car. And uh... We ended up running fifth, and sometimes that's what happens when you go for the win. Look at this, people. It is tucked in. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks again for watching. Team Ez TV on YouTube.